Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art and uh, today we're going to be making a computer keyboard. So um, I had to do a little bit of math beforehand to try to figure out how many divisions I need for all my buttons. So um, do that beforehand before you start, you know, making crazy changes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and make mine just the size that I need for the right amount of faces. That does mean that it's going to be really big. Um, so maybe you want to cut yours in half. Um, you know, it's, it's honestly just up to you. So, all right, that looks correct. 44 by 19. It's a lot of faces, I know, um, but we'll make it. Okay, so, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it two wide, just so it's a bit bigger, and then make the divisions the same. All right, so uh, very first thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to make one button and then I'm going to have you go through and do the rest. So I'm just going to like speed through this and then, you know, you pause the video and you do it on your computer and then I'll catch up with you and um, tell you the next part. I just don't want to make this like a super long tutorial where you're literally just watching me make buttons the whole time. So, um, yeah. All right. So first thing, my first button, I'm going to make three faces long. That's my escape button. So go ahead, extrude those faces, offset them in by, let's do 0.1. And then you can extrude them again and thicken it to probably like 0.15. Maybe 0.2 would even be better. So you really get the idea that it's sticking out. All right, and then select that outer ring, extrude, and press that thickness down however much you did it um, up there. All right, so we've got one button. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and select as many faces as I can that are not touching each other. Um, I also made sure that I had a one gap space in between each of my buttons. Um, so just make sure you're doing that as well. So you can go ahead and just select as many as you can going across without any of them touching each other directly. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just speed this part up, that way you don't have to, you know, sit here and watch me extrude all these faces and stuff. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you once that is over. All right, so I ran into um, a calculation issue with this row where you have two shifts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna offset um, this one later, that little row of six. So um, just leave that one for afterwards. And then don't forget to fill in your space bar down here as well. Um, all right, so, oh, also I need to fill in these two for the arrows because the arrows are half and half and we can't do them since they're right next to each other. So you can just do one part and then we'll do the second part later when we do the other shift. All right, so make sure everything is how you want it. Go ahead and extrude it. Offset those guys in by 0.1. And then you're going to extrude again and jump that thickness up to whatever you did last time. So I think I did 0.2. So now you should have all those keys like that. Um, and then Next thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be going through and selecting all those rings. So um, I'll go ahead and just let you do that now. Um, good luck. All right, so I think I got them all. So I would just go into wireframe mode and then kind of check. So it looks like I missed these two in the front. So we'll just go ahead and grab those really quick. 
All right, and then let's double check one more time that we got everyone. Remember, we skipped this one and this guy because we'll do that guy in a second. Um, all right, once you think you got them all, all you need to do is just extrude and press their thickness into negative 0.2. And then let's go ahead and do our last button over here. So this was supposed to be six, if you remember. All right, go ahead and extrude and offset that guy in by 0.1 and then extrude and up that thickness, 2.2. Select those faces, extrude, and negative thickness in, 0.2. Let's go ahead and select this guy down here as well. Extrude, offset that guy in by 0.1. Extrude, thickness up to 0.2. Select that outer ring, extrude, and thickness in, 0.2. All right, so that's basically the keyboard. Um, next thing I wanna do is select these back faces, bring them out, and then press E and actually rotate them so we get a little bit of a curve on it and press them up like that. There we go. That way it doesn't quite lay um, extremely flat since most of our keyboards tilt up just a little bit. Um, and then I want to go ahead and make a charging port up here. So just like eyeball your midway point, mine's probably like around here. So you can select these faces um, or just these two. Honestly, it's up to you. Extrude, offset those guys in. I'm going to do mine by like 0.5 and then click R and scale it however you want. Extrude again and drop that thickness in. I'm going to do mine like negative 0.6. That way we just have like a cute little charging port. All right. That looks correct. So um, really what you can do next is just add like the little details um, that you might see on a keyboard. So like for example, my caps lock is right here. And caps lock usually has like a little circle right here that um, just kind of lights up whenever you have caps lock on. So you can go ahead and take this face, I'll set it in by maybe like 0.15 and then let's do edit mesh circularize and then go ahead and twist my twist is like always off for some reason I don't know why also I think I want to make oh no don't do that let's make my radial offset a bit smaller okay and then you can hold on and mess with this twist a little bit more to see if I can get it right Okay, let's do that. So, um, next thing you want to do is extrude that guy. And I'm just going to press it into the mesh, like 0.15, not huge. So it's like a little tiny circle for when it lights up. All right, and then um, really everything else on a keyboard is all just a texture issue. Um, you know, like all of the lettering and stuff, that's all for texturing. You don't need to worry about that in a modeling standpoint. Um, except for on the letters F and G, um, there's those little like bumps so that you can feel where your fingers go. So find where your caps lock is and then jump one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. This is F right here. So go ahead and take these faces, extrude, and offset those guys in. I'm going to do pretty small, probably like 0.25. And then extrude those again and press that thickness up to just whatever you did before. Maybe like 0.15 would just be good. That way you get like some sort of little bump right there. And then jump two over and you will find J, so that guy's J. Extrude, offset that guy in, and extrude again, and press that thickness up. Just make sure they're matching, and yeah, that's about it. So that was a super easy keyboard. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I think what I'll probably end up doing is just doing mesh smooth. Um, instead of beveling, just because I kind of like how that looks a little bit more. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!